Well, he's given him. I don't think uh, initially he got near it. I don't think Flintoff thinks he did either. But Doug Cowie has given it. Flintoff has cross. And we'll soon see who with. Well, I mean, our initial reaction was he didn't get anywhere near the ball. I mean, like two or three inches. I mean, it's absolutely nowhere near the ball. Excited there. I think he thought he was going to get his third. Oh, that's close. Too much bounce. Too much bounce. It nipped back. Oh, he's given him. Oh, no. That's a dreadful decision. That is a dreadful decision. He didn't play a shot. He allowed the ball to... Well, it, I mean, the truth of the matter is I don't think he anticipated the movement back off the seam, but there was no way that was going to hit the stumps. That's his third duck. Have a look at this. Just watch... shuffling across the crease it was the ball that beat the bat and no movement at all from the umpire a very good shot from the Australians on that occasion and I can't help but think that uh, the LBW rule has been cancelled for this game David Hooks because that was a very very good shot No LBWs in this game so far. Oh! And another shot, two in a row by the Australians, and McGrath can't believe it. Not as much aggression from behind the stumps on that occasion as the previous delivery, but McGrath really has got it all together at the moment. And that is a very good shot again from the Australians. I mean, I know it's easy to... a very good delivery big shout might have just been going leg side Shane Warne can't believe it Steve Buckler has said not out he was holding his hands up Shane Warne he reckons it's plum well that was very close no matter what you think as a bowler or a fieldsman but the man who matters is the umpire and Steve Buckner thought the ball was going down piston line no doubt about it straightening up the height would have been matter Think about it, that, you know, it becomes a bit tense and all of a sudden you get it, you've got a game on your hands. Quicker ball, is that a bottom edge? They think so, the Tasmanians. Whoa. The umpire disagrees and Marsh is filthy. Oh. They all went up. It would have been four wickets in the space of some 15 runs. Well, let's see if we can hear a sound here. Wow, well, you know, there could be a couple of guys go for dissent here. You know, the, I the, think the actions of uh, not only Marsh there, but you could probably pick up through our effects microphone some expletives that were displayed. And I don't think, well, there was no noise, and you certainly can't tell if there's a deflection there, but your idea, there was a bit of uh, histrionics going on out there. I think it was a pretty good call. Different angle, closer look. Didn't sound like an edge. Atkinson went up, Marsh. And Sandy has taken. Such a difficult to take it. Amy Dibble is unmoved. The umpire is unmoved. He reckons it's clipped the pad on the way to Sachin Tendulkar, and the Indians cannot believe it. Well, incredible take either way from Tendulkar. So here Khan, once again, getting into it. The corridor of uncertainty has to be his nick this. And it's straight off the edge. And that's a brilliant catch. It did go pretty quick, didn't it, Shiver? That, that, that was always the big question. If it hit the pad, it would have been slow. That's just a regulation nick. Was the batsman trying to indicate and what a poor decision this is? Big outside edge. 
takes a huge breath and prepares himself. Oh, and he's gone right through him. Hit him on the pad. And umpire French says no. Danny Morrison couldn't believe it. He thought that that was the one. It did swing back a little. It may have just been going down leg side. Yes, it may have. But I think the New Zealanders could regard themselves as reasonably unfortunate there. Jag back. And I suppose one thing that umpire French thought it could have been cutting too much. Great. Side edge, and there's a mix up here. This could be out. Oh, it's oh, he's dropped the ball. Or did it hit the stumps? He'll need to see this replay. If the ball hit the stumps, I think Gilchrist is out. If it didn't, then he may well have just got away with it. Now, Gilchrist thinks he's okay. He's walking down the pitch to have a chat to Ponting. This will be interesting. Salia, what do you think? Um, Colin hasn't been able to really take it clearly. We won't be able to see from this angle. Uh, see the ball down there and see the batsman in. So I think uh, Gilchrist is uh, safe. Yes, he's dropped the ball for a start. Have a look at the ball. Goes out of his gloves. That's bad wear keeping. It's da down on the ground, out of his gloves. He then hits the stumps. Then the ball hits the stumps. But in any event, the bat's got uh, over the line. So a little bit of excitement there. And uh, Gilchrist has survived. He wouldn't have known that the ball uh, actually went down onto the ground like that. But you can see his gloves here hitting the stumps, breaking the bales before the ball got there and the bat is in, in any event. So um, the umpire is sitting up there in the commentary box taking a little bit of time over this, I don't know why. That's uh, BN Patirana up there. And um, he'll be pushing that green light in a second. And uh, because it's taking a little bit of time, Gilchrist is probably a bit nervous about all this. Very often, uh, the longer it takes, the more bats would start to worry. There we are, you can see uh, Kalua Thorne getting excited, dropping the ball. Well, he's going to have to watch that ball right into his gloves. He really has to uh, do that because had he been out of his crease then, it would have uh, really gone against the Sri Lankans. It's, it's, it's a bit... It's a bit... So not been deciding on problem. it. That's yeah, the problem with the light. He's given it. I think he's made a mistake there. I think he's pushed the wrong I button. Think pushed the wrong button. I really uh, am not too sure about uh, what really went on there, Tony, because uh, it is very, very clear to see that. Uh Bowling! That's the way to do it! Oh, and you wouldn't believe it. You would not believe it. It is a noble. Richard Ellingworth got his hand up early. A no ball. He has. Oh! Well, he hasn't stood over the line. What do you do there? Refer that to the third umpire? Why is that? Why is that a no ball? I don't want to see that on the big screen, I'm telling you. Well, hang on. If he'd taken a wicket and he'd, he'd overstepped the mark, it will get overturned. Now, why can't they overturn the not out in this circumstance?